Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. And today's video going to be uh, doing a deck profile on this Noctowl control deck. So what this deck is, is you use this Noctowl with the carry off attack for 3 plus energy. So it triple slash energy. You choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and they shuffle that Pokemon and all cards attached to it into their deck. And then you shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. So Obviously, cost three cluster energy which means that we can utilize triple acceleration energy to um, to use that attack for one energy attachment. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically what we're building around now. We want we want to be able to spam knocked off or knocked out, putting our opponent's Pokemon back into the deck. So we play a four three line of this Muta Queen with the Queen's Call. Once you make your enemy and search your deck for Pokemon, it isn't a Pokemon GX or Pokemon GX. Reveal and put into our hand, and then we shuffle our deck. So, this Queen Skull can search any of our Pokemon in our deck because Zashin is on the GX or the EX. So, that, that ability can get our Noctowls rolling, it can get our uh, Pidgeotas rolling, and it can get our um, it can get our Zashin going. So, oh uh, yeah, so we have a draw engine of a 2 2 Pidgeotto with the airmail. Once during our turn, we might look at the top two cards of our deck, put one of them into our hand, and we put the other one on the bottom of our deck. So that's like a little bit of a draw engine, and then we have two Pidgeot, which can also use the triple acceleration energy, and your opponent puts their active Pokemon and all cards attached to it into their hand. So what we're trying to do with this deck is run our opponent all of their resources by using the carry off attack, and then once they pass without having any bench Pokemon, because they don't have any quick balls in their hand, then you, that's when you use the spin storm to put their active into their hand. Now, Nocto only puts the opponent's bench Pokemon into their, into their hand. So what we have is we have the two Fion, so we can put their active onto their bench, and then put their big Pokemon that they've been powering up onto the bench. Um, we have the 2-2 two, two Altaria line, because since Noctowl goes into the deck, not only does it mean we get to save our triple acceleration energy, it also means that we can promote all Altaria and wall with Altaria, because we can put whatever they're setting up, maybe their Ranguru they're setting up so they can actually attack through Altaria. We just put that back in the deck, promote Altaria, and yeah, you can see that's going from there. So we have four rare candy, so we can get out our Nido Queen, and then we have the four Bird Keeper Single Starly engine. Now the Single Starly can help us get out our Nido Queen, but oftentimes we're just going to like Intrepid Sword into it. Double Marnie, Single Research, and two Piers. Um, two Piers so that we can search our deck for a energy. So and any energy, so that means we can get triple acceleration energy, which is pretty cool. Four incense, because we have so many evolutions in this deck. Uh, three calm, because we have almost 30 Pokemon. Almost the entire deck is Pokemon. Now, I can trust you that this deck works. It does work, okay? It does have almost 30 Pokemon, but I can assure you it works. Um, we have one air balloon, just because sometimes we run out of bird keepers, and it means that uh, if, our, if our Munchlax is gone, then they can just, like, Bring up Rosashi and not and um, make it so we can't retreat. So we have an air balloon as well as the one U-turn board, one recycle energy to prevent that play from happening. Um, now if you prize something important, what you can actually do is you can set up a whole bunch of evolutions and actually you can attack with Muta Queen because it also is three close energy, higher lariat, ten damage, and it does fifty more damage for each evolution Pokemon on the bench. So you can actually take prizes. With that power lariat, and get through some things that might be threatening your Altaria, maybe, um, or just take some prizes. Maybe you prize both your Altarias, or maybe one of your Altarias had to get discarded, and you prize the other one. So that is that is a possible play that you can do. You can use that power lariat to um, get things out of the prize cards. Um, and yeah, one Munchlax, only a four-three line of Noctowl. Because you're going to be putting the Noctowl back in the deck, it's not going to hit the discard pile very often. So we only, we only really need three of them. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the list for Quick Ball. Sashian, Munchlax, Starly, 222, Pidgeot. And um, let's go get some games on the ladder. So I'm pretty sure it's. So, this deck obviously has the best time against VMAX decks, stage 2 decks maybe. 
What is a colorless deck box? I don't know what they might be playing. Okay, so we win. We are going to go first. Okay, so we have... This hand is pretty good. We got a quick ball we can get off our intrepid sword, maybe get a rare candy. So we're going to promote Ligu Ligu here. Hey, it looks like a Porygon deck. So this is a pretty good matchup. We can keep putting their Porygon Z back into the deck. I think we're just going to quick ball away this Hoot Hoot. Or the incense. Uh, I think I think it's gonna have to be the incense here. So oh, Tari is probably not gonna do this very much in this matchup, depending on what we play. I think we're just gonna get Zashi in here. We have we have all our rare candies. We prized our research. We prized a triple, so that can be um that can be impactful maybe later on in the game. So let's get out the Zashian. We will bench it and then I think we'll bench this need ran and intrepid sword. So okay, if we get the knockdown, we get the rare candy. This means we can start setting up our our drawing. So as you can see, if you get the nice turn to need a queen, you can really start getting out Pokemon. Pokemon communication, putting in the Porygon 2. I mean, oh, sorry, Porygon Z. Maybe they're, maybe they're gonna get out the Porygon 2, depending. Eating and small that. So they only play the Porygon and no other single party attackers. A party might be of use here. Changing the recycle energy. So I don't think this Eating Snorlax can threaten us very much. That's nice. Cool. So far, it looks like Ataria might be the way to go here. We're going to stellar wish. Now, these games can be kind of long, so I'm not going to be surprised if this video is very, very long. Depending on how long this game is, I might just. Um, I might just play one game because games with this deck can be very long. But, so it's our turn again. We're going to go immediately into the rare candy here. Just get that need of queen into play. We'll bench our Pidgey. And uh, I think we bench the second Hoot Hoot. Uh, yeah, we'll get. Yeah, we'll bench the. No, we're going to use Queen's Call. Get out. Swab Blue. Yeah. Bunch of blue. And I think we just intrepid sword now. And we're gonna bench the other hoot hoot. We put the user board on the saw blue and then we get intrepid sword. So get another knockdown. No triple yet. So that's one thing. We really want to start finding our triple energy. Once we find our triple energy or a way to get our triple energy with like our peers. Oh, so they play Kangaskhan, so. That is a little bit of a wasted bench space. So, depending on what they do, I think we're just going to always... They may or may not play Twin Energy, so if they don't put this back in the deck, we can kind of stagger our Curiosity. We can put this in the deck, then put that in the deck, and then put that in the deck. So That is possible. But, um... King of Scott might be an issue. We might just end up power layering this, depending if they play more of them or not. So we get out their Porygon Z. Only have one energy though. Maybe a drop Pokemon here, like a Dene. Probat. Yeah, we might be able to end up just power layering this King of Scott. To get it out. I don't know how many they play. That's the only issue. They play more than one, then the power lariat is incorrect. If they don't play more than one, the power lariat is definitely the way to go. 
probably don't play Ordinary Rod because they only probably play Special Energy so they can slurry the Porygon. They probably wouldn't get much, very much value out of the Ordinary Rod, so I don't know why would they don't know why they would play it. So attaching a Capture Energy with Crazy Code, as well as a powerful Colorless Energy. And research, so. So we're gonna big charm this, so that means we need a total of five, um, three evolved Pokemon on our bench to be able to give value of the Power Larry if they knock us out. So I think we're just gonna use Queen's Call and get out our Yoto. So we're gonna evolve that Pidgey. Now we can't evolution in sense. I will just get out the Altaria from our deck. Um and I think I'll just airmail now. Okay, so we get a Marnie. I think we're just gonna take that. Um just in case we don't find our triple anytime soon, we're gonna want a Marnie maybe into it. And I really, really want to start carrying up, but I don't have the energy, so I think I just have to Intrepid Sword again. Okay, so there's a triple energy. That means we'll, we'll be able to start the carry off next turn. So I wish getting a Marnie, so they're gonna probably Marnie away our triple, unfortunately. So uh we do have air mail. We might be able to find our triple again. We have Queen's Call to guarantee ourselves our knock though. Okay, so we have another triple. We also have a peers, so that's gonna be nice. We can that will give us two consecutive so they don't get anything, so I think we just put we're just gonna Queen's Call. Yeah, we're just gonna Queen's Call and then another knocked out. But um this rally back isn't gonna do anything, I just realized. It's gonna do 30 damage. Okay. So I think power Larry doing this will be correct at some point in the game if they do decide to promote it. So, we're just gonna knock the uh, wall and our knock doll. Airmail. Safety knock doll. Appears again. Get out a triple. We'll just attach triple and carry off. And probably the evening Snorlax. Let's put that in their deck. And I think we... Uh, I think we might just have to put up the Swell Blue. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have our Munch Lack. Munch Lack is usually what we want to remote here. Now they probably play a Roar Energy, which is a little annoying, because that means they can attack with Slap. It's probably going to get out their Evening Snorlax again. So that is your evening storm, Alex. Wrenching it. Now, if they don't manage to find enough energy off the, to use Crazy Code and put it onto this, they need three energy on Crazy Code. Oh, okay, so they don't. So we're putting in the Corygon Z this turn. So there's our there's Noctowl again. That's nice. Um, I think we'll just airmail before we use the Queen's Call in case we get a way to find a Pokemon. I'm just gonna take Fion. So we'll take the Fion. And this time we will Queen's Call. 
Uh, we have the Hoot Hoot, so I think we just get to Altaria here. I think we get out all our, our Altaria, because we have our Hoot Hoot. So we have the Hoot Hoot to evolve into our Knockdown next turn. I think we're not going to have is triple energy, so... Yeah, so we're just going to triple. We're going to carry off that. Put that into the deck. Get rid of their acceleration. And we'll go into our time. Because it has free retreat with the future board, so that can be very nice. Ooh, is, oh, it's Zashian. Okay, if they play Aurora's, that Zashian's an issue. Actually, no. They can trap it in the Aurora's. Never mind. Um... So they're attaching to the Kangaskhan. We have the Fion. We just need our triple energy. We really need a supporter. We need a research and all your prizes. Okay, so they're probably gonna money us because our hand is really, really bad. So if they do money us, okay, let's go. So our hand was really, really bad. We didn't have we needed triple or knocked all in that hand. Okay, there's our triple. So land knocked. Okay, so this hand is so much better than our last one. Okay. And it's gonna trip it, so it's okay. So they don't have any room for Porygon currently, so I think I'm just going to put this Tangascon into the deck now. So we're going to evolve into the Noctowl, and I think I'm just going to calm this, put in the Pidgey, get our Noctowl, so we have that for next turn. So Queen's Call, we got our Noctowl, and Airmail. This appears awesome. So you can kind of see how this deck is starting to work. Just we're gradually putting in their attackers, making it so they can't do much. So, yep. So we're gonna carry off the Kangaskhan. Now they really need to keep a bench spot open, if not two, one for support Pokemon, so that they can actually find their Pokemon and one for their Porygon. So where Pokemon are usually the last thing we want to put into their deck because they can actually use Corvette's ability again once we put it into their deck. Okay, so there's the Porygon. I think we put this Porygon back into the deck. Eventually they'll run out of rare candy too, so we have to keep that in mind. Eventually they'll run out of rare candy. Um, and that will get, buy us an extra turn because they also also evolve into Porygon too. Okay, they shouldn't drop the again. Okay, so I think this turn we put in, I think we put in the Porygon. Uh, okay, actually, I think we put in Eevee Snorlax, because they still haven't taken a price card yet. So that's a big thing. I think we put in Eevee Snorlax here. So we will evolve into Noctowl. We will Queen's Call. We get out a Hoot Hoot. Airmail. Uh, no, I think I'll hold that. Come out, okay, Bird Keeper, nice. That means we can Bird Keeper into this now. Maybe get some more energy. We get the Recycle, but no triple energy. So yeah, I think we're going to put an EV Snow next here. Maybe this. Uh, this is a touch decision. I think I'm going to put the EV Snow next because they haven't taken a prize card yet. So I think it's fine if we do this. And the only attacker that they can really set up is their Porygon or their Double. Question is, do they have enough energy to get out their Porygon and start attacking our Altaria? Because we prize their other one. I think we'll just put up our... No, we have another Bird Keeper in hand, so I think we can actually put up the Needle Queen. Yeah, let's put up the Needle Queen. Have Bird Keeper in hand. So this can survive a hit on um, a lot of things. That's third rare candy. That's third rare candy down. Now most likely they'll get into this double and they'll hit us for 120, but they won't knock us out. Might Aurora onto the Zashin. That would be an issue. Ooh, okay, so they're another Porygon. So it looks like they're gonna we're gonna get value all of Atari here now. Turn, yeah, turn, turn. They're gonna boss. Okay. We have Bird Keeper. That's fine if they get into this. Unless they're gonna start 
three gun season onto the last one. Okay, so it looks like they're playing with the double. Okay, they're just gonna triple sword. Okay. So I think this time we only have one rare candy left, so I think we put in the Porygon. Oh, top deck triple. Awesome. That was a really, really good top deck. So we're gonna incense. Is there a knockdown? Yeah, okay. Mm. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna get up our knockdown. And we're just gonna bird keep her into this. We need our hoot we need a hoot hoot. Okay, no hoot hoot, unfortunately. Oh wait, no, we have queen's we're fine. Never mind, we have things gone. Okay, so. We also might have prized their other rare candy, so that's something to keep in mind. Okay. I think we're gonna take this Pidgeot. Evolve into our Noctowl. Treats. Catch this. Carry off. I think that. Yeah, that. Okay. Put up the Altaria. Because we don't have Bird Keeper, so I think that Altaria is our best bet. There he is. They have two energy right here. This Rocky has an air balloon. I don't know. This powerful energy is giving them zero value. So there's our rare candy. That will be their last rare candy. Then they will start up to evolving the Porygon too. Okay, so that's their last rare candy. So that is good to know. But that is their last rare candy to have to start evolving the Porygon too. They might play old BC, but I doubt it. So we're probably gonna crazy code. Oh no, the crazy crazy coding on the double. Okay, so that is a misplay. So they don't know Porygon. And since they don't have rare candy, it's probably best their best bet is to Tantrum or Altaria. Okay, so they have Kangaskhan, but like I said, that isn't going to do anything because the Pokemon won't be getting knocked out. And I doubt they play Twin Energy, so that will be nullified as well because they're going to need the Porygon if they want to attack with that on one turn. And we're probably just going to be spamming our Porygon now, or our uh, spamming putting in the Porygon now. I'm just gonna drop a sword. Okay, so put in the Porygon now. We don't want them. They're out of rare candy. Okay, we get a rare candy. I think we just tapped airmail. This turn is, might just be a turn where we have to go ahead and use Intrepid Sword, unfortunately. That's a pain because we do, really don't want them to not get, uh, knock out this. Okay, we're just gonna Queen's Call. Get out, hoot hoot. Because we don't have the new gust knock out this. And I think we just retreat into our Zashian Intrepid Sword. Uh, well, we can attach to it so we open up the intern board. Okay, triple, no bird keeper though. Bird keeper is what we really, really wanted to get there. So we could have um, got out of the Zashian. We're not going in the double. We're only doing 120 damage. We're gonna use crazy code. Yes, yeah, so they're attaching to that. That's annoying. But they're only gonna be able to get a hit of 30 damage before we put this in the back. And then put that in the back. I'll try to stop them from doing this. So this is looking to be good for us. Okay, so I'm only doing 120. But we really Need a bird key. Oh, air balloon. Awesome top deck. Okay, okay. Now we're in business. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to Queen's Call. We're going to get our Noctowl. We'll evolve into Hoot Hoot. Um, air mail again. Triple. You can take that. Thank you very much. We will attach the air balloon. Treats, put up the Noctowl, attach, and carry off their Porygon. Now, 
They're down two boss. They might play three, but this deck where they have stage two, I don't know if they're going to want to play more than two. Um, because they uh, want to be able to get their stage two consistently, not just have boss's orders in their hand the entire time. <clears throat> we're going to quick ball again. Getting out their evening storm axe. They might misplay with the chaos con thinking the can song do 120 damage here. But actually won't. So uh, yeah, okay, they're not one wanting any. That's fine. We can do 30 damage here. Because one of the Pokemon was not knocked out. I'm gonna rally back 30 damage. No. So 30 damage actually with that. Okay, I think we put this into the deck now. So this is where we go. Yeah. We'll be able to carry off that into the deck. So we will finish call. Got our hoot hoot. Go. Bench our hoot hoot. Uh, we will put that saw blue back in the deck. Get out our Noctowl. Evolve in the Noctowl. And uh, treat through airmail. Football. Football. Hurry up. Bye back in this game. And we run Altari here. So far, they don't have any Auroras. I don't know if they, they probably don't play a war energy. So I wish, at some point we might want to put this into the deck because that's going to, failing still the wish, okay, that's a good sign. We don't have any bosses, but it's, okay, victory, okay. So, uh, yeah, this video is pretty long already, so I think I'm just going to call it there. Um, uh, yeah, that is the Noctowl Control deck against Evolution decks. It's very, very powerful um, just because it gives us an extra turn. Against big basic tag teams, eh, ADP. Obviously, can't be ADP. Um, if you want to add crushing hammers, you might be able to find a room. to. You might be able to be ADP. You might be able to run them out of their water energy. Also, they can't alter creation, but... I don't know, a smart ADP player won't attach to water energy, but I, yeah, that is the Noctowl control deck. Um, it's a grindy deck, <laughs> let me tell you that. Um, but it feels nice when people, at least for me, it feels nice when you win a game with this. I just really like control decks. I really like the alternate win of decking people out or having them know, don't, um, having no Pokemon to play. So, uh, yeah. That is the deck. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.